Hey me, guys. Me, me, me. Mm, okay. Hey everyone. <laughs> hey, Janet here. James here. And this is a behind the scenes little video vlog uh, for the channel since this week we aren't putting together a Harry Scary Hangout show, our movie hosted, you know, B movie show. And uh, we normally do a podcast called Living the Scream where we go behind the scenes and it's a live streaming podcast that's more interactive. Well, we haven't had time to do either this week. We're getting ready for Thanksgiving. Yes, we, we, like, <laughs> we usually uh, do a, not want to say pretty big, but we invite our friends and family over. We usually host um, and put together all the, the, the food and the trimmings, the turkey and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, uh, it's, so It's for a small group of people, but yeah. you know, we want to make sure everything's good. And we get into it. We, we get into it. Yeah, yeah we enjoy it. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you out there know what kind of hard work that takes sometimes, but it's fun for us. So it, it's it's definitely a pleasure. So we're looking forward to that. So in, uh, in, in so in, we can't uh, put together a show that we would think is good enough for this Friday, unfortunately, but hopefully working on something bigger for Christmas. Um, we'll try to make it up, make up for it. Then like we did last year, we had a lot of fun on Christmas. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll put something cute together. We're, we're going to do a couple, probably two or three shows in December. And, you know, one of them will be, like, you know, Christmassy and cute and nostalgic. Yeah, we'll try to do something. More, more do like a family thing. And then we'll find, like, a, you know, another B-monster movie or scary movie or something. Or who knows what we'll find. Yeah. We'll but, try to find something fun. But for this Thanksgiving of, two, of 2023, um, this little vlog we're putting together, um, we just wanted to, uh, you know, kick it off with a little bit of an introduction and to explain, you know, what's going on for the rest of the week, uh, the holiday weekend mm -hmm. and um and to show off your awesome hat yeah of course i mean come on <laughs> probably wear this tomorrow when i'm cooking serving up food and everything Why i think not? you should i think i might totally so yeah so that'll be fun and uh, we are going to watch our traditional uh thanksgiving uh showing of the original king kong movie yeah uh, tomorrow night that'll be fun so um classic monster movies and uh and entertaining uh you know Small group of people tomorrow. Yeah. Catching up with friends and family. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, so um, it'll be it'll be fun. And we wanna wish you guys out there a very happy and safe Thanksgiving. <laughs> we you know, whatever your plans are for that day, we just hope it's a, a nice day to uh, reflect and appreciate what we're all grateful for. Yes. And we should think about that year round, but you know, it's a special day mostly for that. That's right. You can focus on that. Eating food and being thankful. That's right. So again, thanks for uh, watching us and, and, and you know, kind of hanging with us these bunch of last, what, seven years we've been doing this as uh, mm -hmm. The Mummy, The Monkey. And uh, there's more to come. Actually, eight, nine years? Yeah. We've nine been years all together. of The Mummy and The Monkey. Yeah, at yeah. least. Yeah. So I was being, I was being you know, <laughs> conservative. I didn't About know. six years of the Harry Scary Hangout. Yes. So, yeah. So like I was saying, more to come. So don't... Uh, don't 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 get too uh, relaxed there. We got more stuff coming up. Um, but yeah, so uh, we're gonna continue the rest of this vlog with a little bit of uh, show and tell. I think we did go thrifting today. Uh, you know, uh, among buying the last minute things for t uh, tomorrow's feast and, oh, yeah. uh, and festivities. So uh, yeah, we'll show you a little bit of that. And um, I don't know. We'll see see what we can uh, dig up for this little mini vlog. All right. I think it's just right, good. Cool. Well, this is something I picked up. It's a radio. I used to have this. It's uh, made by Thomas. It's the uh, name of a uh, electronics uh, corporation or whatever or company, and um, they make they, they were making these re pop radios, these retro style radios in the eighties. Here, let's stand that way so it gets and, the uh, light. Sure. There we and go. I I had one of these actually when I was in oh many 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 moons ago in the late eighties eighties when I was in college. I had one of these, and it's really neat because it has a little bit of a Whoa. light there. Yeah, I don't want to turn that bottom up. But, um, so that needs some fixing up. Yeah, I need to replace or clean the pot in there because it's a little, uh, it's probably got dirt in there, it sounds like, or it's a loose connection. So I can just pop that out, find the right one, and resolder a new one back in there. Not a big deal. It's a couple of wires. So it's a cool release. reproduction. It is. I, like I said, I had it. It has a nice sound when you get it working. Yeah. And I had one like exactly like it. It has a cassette player on the side. Kind of funny. Oh, yeah, there it is. I have no is. idea if that works yet or not, so it'd be fun to test that oh, out. Oh, you know what? The video is kind of dark in this corner. I'll bet, yeah. Here, I was thinking that. So there we go. There we anyway, go. Anyway, but yeah, so it was fun to find this at a thrift store a couple of weeks ago, and I like, definitely want it again. I don't know what I did with mine. I don't know. It got lost uh, into the into time, you know, but it's kind of be fun to have it back again. And you can actually pick, I paid like 11 bu about 10 bucks for this. You can get them on eBay for like anywhere between 15 and 50 Nice. Depending on their working order. But yeah, I'll fix this one up. And it's kind of a nice, fun look. And 
memories, you know, warm, fuzzy memories of my late teens as a young, young man. Okay, so while we were out running errands to get some last minute stuff, we did stop by a Volunteers of America thrift. And well, what did I get? This was only 99 cents, Barbie PC design, fashion design, and it comes with a little digital watch. You can design things on your computer. On my computer. And then what's cool about this, well here, do you want to hold the camera, hon? Sure. And I can show the things? Yep. What's cool about this is it's a floppy disk. So it's kind of neat. Um, I don't know if there's a market for it, but heck, for 99 cents, I wanted to try it. Mm -hmm. Now I know these sell for around 30 to $34. I paid $4.99 for it. It's a quick braid, like a hair twister thing. It's from 2002, so it's very like Y2K-ish. This is like something I would see at Kmart when I was like 18 back in the day. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> what else you got? Bath toy organizer for $1.99. It's Looney Tunes. It's dated 1998. Mm -hmm. I thought that might be cute to put on Mercari for like 10 to 15 bucks. Paid only two for it. It's something cheap. I wanted to give it a try. Um, oh, I forgot about this thing. I had another breakable thing, it's too. It's over here. I got it. Oh, thank you. Okay. So this is signed um, Mateus Tostado, Mexico. I think I paid $2.99 for it. And it's a pretty, um, like, duck vase. And it's, you know, artist signed. That might be a $25 vase. Mm. This Barbie doll, I don't know. She was $0.99. Cents. She's all beat up. It looks like she talks. There's, like, a speaker in her chest. She's got a speaker in her boobs. <laughs> Um, she needs a new battery, so 99 cents and I'll get her cleaned up. And, uh, yeah, there was one other thing I grabbed. Where did that? Okay, here it is. So this is kind of neat. I think it was originally for a candle. It's like a tiki face. He was only 50 cents and it's marked underneath. Um, Candle Corp of America made in USA. Hmm. And there's a lot of people that collect tiki stuff, so for 50 cents, I mean, why not? Let's give it a try. Tiki, how cheeky. Yeah, so those are my finds, and then uh, James is going to show his score in a minute. Okay, so what did you pick up? Hey, uh, my turn, I guess. Um, well, before we went to the thrift store, we did go to uh, Walmart to find some stuff. And in their clearance section that you wanted to go check out, I was like, you're like, hey, are those Dungeons and Dragons cartoon figures? Yeah, they're, they they had three of these things on clearance, three different uh, styles of this, uh, uh, you know, action figures from the cartoon, the old one from the 80s, Dungeons and Dragons. And the weird thing about these, though, is that they're they're inside this box, but you can't see the actual product. You have to rely on that photograph being accurate. But here are here yeah, Diana. that is strange because normally you would see the figure. Yeah, they show them on the back. So they're and seven dollars. They were twenty four ninety seven. Were they? Yeah. So even if you're not a reseller, it is worth it to check out the clearance sections. Mm. So like if you're a collector of these, seven bucks is way better than twenty four ninety seven. Yeah, and I did look them up. They are selling on eBay for about twice as much, anywhere from fifteen to twenty bucks. But I bought these for myself. I'm at the I have the collection of the uh, of the entire series somewhere. So it'd be fun to pull out the DVDs and maybe not play with. I might play with the figures. Maybe you while could I watch display it. them on a shelf or yeah, something. Yeah, I think I would love to. But yeah, these are for me. <laughs> so for seven, so you yeah. bought those for yourself. For the price not of one sell. when it came out, right? Those are for me to kind of yeah. That, that that's a fun. that's a way better price. Now going to the re, you know the resale part for me. Yes. These things I did purchase to resell. Um, well, this one I mean, okay, maybe this one I didn't either, but this is some like fun uh, VHS about the Titanic, uh, some conspiracy about maybe how it was uh, rigged to sink on purpose to Ooh. as a part of a murder plot. Yikes. But it's a, like a hosted thing, and it's supposed to have these unveil some some facts never seen before. So it's not a drama; it is some you know documentary on an op uh, maybe another reason why the Titanic sank. You know, instead of it hitting an iceberg, maybe it was supposed to to off some people that were on it i don't know or maybe an insurance claim not sure but <laughs> it could be a fun watch and that probably came out around the same time as 1997 the titanic movie the titanic movie came out in 1996 i believe so this is like yeah yeah jumping on that or jumping off of the uh, the <laughs> ship of the titanic and trying to cash in on yeah you know auxiliary sales and you know, things like that but here's a here's one two three four five six seven videos 
called uh, spinnerables, like intervals, I guess. Spinnerables. But um, these were a dollar a piece for these DVDs. 99 cents. And there's seven different volumes. This is, I think, this is for like stationary bike. Um, so it's training like, like long distance uh, cycling on your station. So they're like exercise videos. Yeah, they're like di different exercises that people are into cycling. These might be the same one. Well, no, it's two different ones. Yeah, each one is labeled like yeah. what type, what Cardio thing they're going to talk about. No slackers allowed, things like that. So I was like, that's interesting. There's a bunch of them. Let me just look them up, you know, out of curiosity. Like four of these, and I don't know if it depends on which volume it is, but four, a lot of four of them sold for $30. So I've got seven of them. I'll probably sell all seven. Has a lot for like 50 or 60 or best offer and free shipping. Um, and I'll probably sell because like I said, uh, I didn't buy these uh, because they were listed on there. I bought them because this, there was a lot of solds mm. of the same you know brand and the same titles of spinnerables. So these could sell good. So I, I might get 50 bucks for my $7 Investment. I would say just do forty nine ninety nine free shipping, no haggling, yeah. and I think someone will buy it. Yeah, I'll, well, whatever, I'll try that. Try that. I think those could sell for you. But yeah, so I'm gonna list those. Good two. find. Yeah, I thought it was good. Okay, too. and who's but, your friend there? But this guy, when I saw him, I'm like, and now this, he could be good. Yeah, this is Pikachu. the one on the only po the first Pokemon, I think. Pikachu. Pikachu. That's well, he must be here somewhere. Where are you? Oh, he's he right here. So I saw this little chubby <laughs> sucker and. You know, some of this stuff could be good, and this one is one of those ones that could be good. He's so cute. He is from uh, made by Hasbro back in 1999, so he's not a new one. He's an older one. So he's he's, he's look how vintage. He look he's how, a chonky piece. Yeah, he's a little chonk one, right? He's, he's chonky. He looks like he might be about I don't know with the, the tip of the year, maybe, maybe about 20 18, inches tall, 18, 18 inches, inches tall, maybe. Tail still there, not ripped up. No, no, nothing like that. It's got a little. Uh, he just little had dirt, some dirty toes. But you can clean that up. He it's just fabric. has to wash his little toes. It's fabric. He yeah. was six dollars, right? For, is it five ninety nine? Five ninety nine. But I looked it up. The reason I picked it up because one similar ones sell from anywhere between like sixty and a hundred dollars. Wow. So he could be an eighty dollar get for six bucks. So nice. Pikachu came home with me. Pikachu. That's right, and uh, we're gonna get him or her or whatever this thing is out on the eBay, and I want someone else to enjoy him. That really, I'm not a big Pokemon guy, but I, boy, is that a cool. Well, I never really plush. got into Pokemon too much. I played a few of the games, but Pikachu is adorable, and I used to love the cartoons. Oh, I love the, the Pokemon cartoon show. The was adorable. I love the, the name Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. What's the, what's the other names of those things? Oh, like oh, or something like that. Uh, or, Meowth, and yeah. there's so many of them. But what a, what an iconic uh, you know cartoon, iconic Japanese anime cartoon figure. Yes. And in good condition, like again, you know, does it smell? Nope, smells like smells like like plush. You know, it doesn't stink. No cigarette smells, but yeah, bigger. Cool. bigger so he just needs like a little this. spot cleaning, and then yep. he's he's good to there, go there. up for adoption. Yep, and I'm sure even uh, just like this, he'll sell. So yeah, good stuff, good finds, happy, and a lot to be thankful for uh, on our trip to the uh, thrift store today. Pikachu. <laughs> okay, so I had my warm and fuzzy uh, find in the thrift store with that radio, that vintage repro radio, and yes. Janet's is this. So sometimes when we thrift, we do thrift for keeps, not all the time, but sometimes. And this is something that I'm thrifting for keeps. And uh, thank you for hanging those up for me. Um, giant wooden spoon, giant wooden fork, very 1970s, very retro, and I have fond memories of something similar hanging up at my grandma's house back in the day when I was a kid and we would all go see grandma for Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever. And I remember the, the, that would be hanging up like in her dining room. And I remember like the-, the So rotary... you broke into her house and stole her spoons? No, she, she's been gone for a while. Oh, okay. okay. She's not on this earth anymore. They, they were in her dining room, like yes, you took yes. them, okay. So I found this at a thrift store and it reminded me of her house. So, something fun and nostalgic, and I love kitsch. I love retro kitschy stuff, as you could tell. I've got Big Boy and some chalkware hanging up, and how old are they? Um, the spoons. No, your kitsch. Kitsch. You have more than one. <laughs> oh, kit. Oh, they said kids. Oh, that was I did something I didn't know you had. I love retro kitsch. Okay. Kitschy stuff. Got it. So it goes perfect with our kitschy kitchen. <laughs> And um, that's my little um, nostalgic thing I wanted to share with you guys.
Well, there you go. Kind of fun, huh? Yeah, so thank you for watching this little vlog. And again, we want to wish you all a very happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Bye, guys.